Chairperson Douglas Shithiwana says the event is showing to be impressive and for the first time this year it has more than 25 exhibitors, 99% of which are from the Zambezi region. Shithiwana is happy that most of the products exhibited are locally or nationally made by Namibians and Namibian companies. He noted that when the planning was done, organizers thought December was the best time for the Youth Expo because most of the youth were on holiday and visiting with family. Attendance numbers are less than expected though, and organizers say they will go back to the drawing board here to ensure this is addressed onward. There are always challenges, but we have been able to overcome them, so we just look forward to the future. Assurance we give to the youth is that we will we make sure that this event will be taking place every year. We will give, we'll give them a platform, any creative mind, innovative mind, whatever you are able to offer to the community, you are able to offer to your clients. Katima Mundo is the best platform to come showcase what you are capable of doing and show it to the people of Zambia or even Namibia at large. Some exhibitors spoken to were conflicted about the timing of the expo. Betty Samukwa is a youth event deco exhibitor who brought the kids' corner to the exhibition for the children of Katima Mulilo. I can say it's a challenge because of timing. It's December and almost everyone is going to the villages. But it's the first time in Namibia it's a trial, so I think in years to come it will improve. We don't have people who are coming to buy, like the people outside, the customers. We only support the, ourselves here around, just for the people who are cooking here and they come to buy the jackpots. The Youth Expo started on Friday and ends tomorrow.